Daddy! Daddy! It's snowing! Robert Thorne groggily opened his eyes and mumbled, What is it, sweetie? His daughter, Susie, was standing by his bed. She loudly and excitedly exclaimed, It's snowing outside! Robert groaned, It's July, honey, it can't be. But that was as far as he got because Susie was so excited, she was about to vibrate into another dimension trying to contain her anxiousness. She had never seen real snow before. She ran off proclaiming, I'm going to make a snowman. Robert looked over at his tired wife and decided to see what the commotion outside was about. Robert Thorne threw on a robe and proceeded outside. Much to his astonishment, it did appear to be snowing. White flakes fell in mass from the sky and had already begun to layer the ground. Susie ran around the yard twirling and whirling about. She opened her mouth to the heavens to catch a few flakes before flopping on her back to make snow angels. He opened the door and was shocked at how warm it was outside. A part of him had actually forgotten it was July, and they were in Escondido, California. The temperature hadn't dropped below 60 degrees all week. He was about to call Susie inside when she spotted more kids and was off like a flash to play with them. There wasn't any way to stop her short of yelling, and Robert wasn't worried. They were in a safe neighborhood, in a safe part of town, and he knew the kids he was going to play with. He knew that he had to let his daughter have some room to spread her wings. He could use this time to figure what was going on. He looked at the neighboring houses and found that all their lights were off. But that wasn't odd. It was, after all, 5.30 in the morning. He took one last look at the sky that was dumping white flakes all over the neighborhood. He went back inside and flipped on the television. He flipped to the local news channel, and there had been breaking news. Robert began to fix himself some coffee while listening to the news. He never finished preparing the coffee. The news report featured a stuffy-looking man from NASA. He was at some sort of news conference, and he was urging everyone to be calm. He talked about how NASA hadn't had any communications from a ship reported to have been sent off decades ago. They'd performed an override on the controls and began recalling the ship years ago. Robert Thorne mused that they had probably only wanted the billions of dollars worth of equipment back. It was the next words that made the father drop the coffee mug on the ground, shattering it into pieces. The NASA expert urged the press that the debris was not dangerous. There had been a miscalculation in the recall of the ship named Exogenesis. It had entered the stratosphere without atmosphere entry preparations. The ship had burned up in the atmosphere. He urged the audience again that the debris was so infinitesimally small that it posed no real danger to anyone's health. Robert's mind flashed to an image of Susie catching snowflakes with her tongue while laughing all the while. He didn't even hear the part where the press asked the NASA official if there was any crew on the ship. Outside ashes rained from the sky and continued to blanket the small town and its neighboring cities. <laughs>